We're back in the official What's With Terry studio, which also doubles as a Barnes & Noble bookstore. And my guest today is author Susan K. Quinn. So what am I thinking right now? <sighs> Sorry, I'm not getting anything. I'm blank again. <laughs> the reason I ask is because Susan has just published a paranormal young adult book called Open Minds which takes place in the future time when just about everybody can read other people's minds and that causes some complications for her hero who is a young teenage girl named Kira. That's right. Um, Kira is what we call a zero which means that she cannot read minds. In this future world everyone reads minds and the society has adapted to um, that reality so things like range codes of how close people can live together has changed and more importantly the society has evolved to have trust based on whether I can read your mind or not because the truth is actually available now because I don't have to take your word for it I can read your mind so zeros like Kira cannot read minds and cannot be read by others and so they're untrustworthy and they're sort of relegated to the bottom of the barrel of society and that causes a lot of problems for her now, having read the entire book, I can attest that Kira goes through quite a journey, both physically and emotionally. Yes. Well, she starts out as a zero, and the only thing that she wants is to change. The, the change from being a child to an adolescent is where the mind reading comes in. And so when she doesn't go through that change, uh, she keeps waiting and waiting for it to happen. And if it doesn't happen, boyfriends, college, all of that is out for her. And so she's desperately hoping for this to happen. Well, it doesn't. And her friend, boyfriend, when he tries to kiss her because he really doesn't care about society's rules so much, um, she ends up knocking him out and discovers that she actually can do something quite unique in that she can jack into other people's minds and control them. And that starts out to be something that might be the answer to her problems, but ends up not. And she quickly finds out she has to mind control everyone that she loves in order to keep this secret and uh, it just gets worse from there. So. And it doesn't stop there because Open Minds is actually the first part of the uh, Mindjackers trilogy. That is true. Uh, I'm working on Closed Hearts which is the sequel to Open Minds uh, right now and which is a lot of fun to write the second book while people are reading the first book um, but there will be three books eventually in the trilogy. Now you've done um, a lot of promoting for Open Minds through social networking. Can you give us some examples of what that is like? Um, I have a very uh, supportive online writer community as well as in-person writer community. Um, but sort of the nexus of that is my blog. And I do a lot of blogging and reach people that way, talk about my writing, talk about kids and books and technology. I was an engineer before I was a writer. And so I talk about all sorts of things on there. And I also am on Twitter and Facebook. And basically those are great ways to network with readers, writers, just general people that care about you and enjoy your work. Um, and that was great when I launched the book, Open Minds. I had a virtual online party where a whole bunch of people joined in on the blog and the other blogs and supported the launch of the book, which was great fun. I had fun with it. And it also started a little bit of the buzz for the book. Mm -hmm and I got it sort of rolling along, which was wonderful. So I do a lot of that, and I also go, now that the book is launched, I'm moving more into things like doing giveaways, doing blog tours with book bloggers, who are people who review books. So I'll send the book to them, they'll review it, and that'll get some more exposure. And next month, I'm taking even one more step and starting to do some paid advertisements, which is another way to reach people who do the eBooks places like Pixel of Ink or Kindle Nation Daily that do paid ads. So it's it's all new <laughs> and I'm figuring it out as I go like most everybody else. So. so the social networking must be working out because I just saw on Facebook that Open Minds is on Amazon's list of some of the top science fiction bestsellers. Yes, I was very excited to see that. It's not easy to get on the 
you know, top of the science fiction category in Amazon and or anywhere near the bottom. <laughs> so I was excited to see that. It goes up and down, so sales go up and down. But um, people are excited about the book, so it's nice to see. So if people wanted to buy a copy of Open Minds, where would they go to do that? Um, Open Minds is available as both an ebook and in paperback as you have a copy. Um, they can find it on barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. I'm also working with an international marketer to get it overseas, and so you can actually buy it in paper and ebook in the UK and Germany and places like that, and pretty much anywhere that ebooks are sold uh, iTunes, Kobo, uh, Sony, anything like that. I'm trying to be everywhere. Well, that sounds very interesting, and um, I want to thank you for coming by and visiting with us today. Thank you. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you.